so for the purpose of this overclocking demo, uh, we disabled all the power management feature features. Uh, we disabled turbo core, uh, onboard devices, that kind of stuff. since we did uh, the experiment and first used uh, liquid helium in Las Vegas a few years ago. So basically, while we wait for the temperatures to uh, drop to uh, the zone, uh, so we can max out the CPU, uh, which is basically sit here and wait. In the meantime, I'll just show a few things you can do uh, on the fly as we talk. Um, so as an example, here's a uh, so it's just a red flag on the fly, so you can do fine tuning on the overall CPU frequency as well as on memory and HD frequency. Uh, there's voltage controls for the CPU core, for the CPU cartridge, as well as for memory. You can dial in additional voltages as well, and uh, there's also an option for the CPU ratio. We're not running any benchmarks, we're just shooting for the highest uh, CPU-Z uh, validation. Just seeing how the frequency scale is going from you know, air, water, phase to uh, the three. Uh, for those of you who can't see the temperature here. Nothing, we started at five, uh, we're starting at 4.8, waiting for the temp to drop. So when are we stopping like minus? Minus 180, 180, 185. We might just do that in outer space. interesting to us. So the problem is, is 
very difficult to measure passing negative 200. And with liquid helium, uh, we certainly get well past negative 200. So we use what we've got in the lab, but the real challenge is always not measuring the nitrogen. But you need a silk on the diet to measure One of the things I'll say is, you know, at times over our history, we've talked to basically everybody in the room. Everybody in the room. You guys have been fantastic in, you know, first of all, outreach to both enthusiasts and people who are enthusiasts but who might benefit to, from a, a lot of the technology work we do. And also just kind of helping us kind of reach out to these people who created a lot of content and uh, we certainly appreciate that and we understand that you know you guys have to, to decide kind of when these kinds of stories are interesting or not interesting but you know we do it because it's useful scientific work and for some people in the, the DIY community they find it interesting so we'll continue to do this kind of work and continue to kind of respect it. Sometimes it's of interest and sometimes it's not. You guys just got to kind of tell us uh, what you guys think your readers would like to see and, uh, and what you think is of interest to the community at the moment because it keeps changing.
gauge. You're trying to characterize the tents that you're looking Yeah, just learn a little bit more. I mean, there's there's a lot of stuff that we've learned from playing around with these games. The, uh, we did a clear uh, evaporator that taught us a lot about how the fluid was moving around uh, when it's uh, vaporizing. So there's a lot of interesting technology. So a lot of science experimentation. Yeah, data yeah, gathering. It's, a, it's like a sandbox, so it's, it's fun to... So what are you going to do with that group? Uh, we're going to put a heat uh, temperature sensing device. All sensors? Yeah. Yeah, put thermal paste in there?